The question is, should I pay door knockers by the hour or by commission? There's only one answer for this, by commission. There's no scenario where I would ever pay by the hour for door knocking. Now, if I had some available employees that were already on my payroll or I'm already paying them, and I'm not going to take them off payroll because I've committed to keep them on payroll even while we're slow, then I would continue to pay them, but I would incent them with the commission. I would still not send them out and say, hey, just spend the day door knocking and see how it goes. No way. I would give them a very lucrative commission for every single sale. So there's no scenario where I would not do this. Now, if you're hiring individuals to door knock for you, then you've got to do a little work to find the kind of guy that will do this type of work. A great one is to talk to the guys that already are door knocking your house, selling you other things, and see if you can swipe them. So there's a couple models for door knocking. And the two models to consider are one where you have an individual that canvasses the neighborhood, they knock on the doors, and they attempt to make a sale. If they make a sale, you give them a commission. If they don't make a sale, they don't get a commission. They tend to not work full-time. They tend to work in the evenings and on weekends, and they're getting a commission for every sale that they make. You've got to figure out what that number is. And be generous with it. Don't be cheap about it. Think about what it would cost you to acquire a new client. For example, if it cost me $100 to acquire a client through door hangers or $100 to acquire a client through direct mail, then I'm going to pay a guy $100 every time he makes me a sale because I want as many sales as he can possibly bring me. So I'm not looking at this as a scenario where, hey, here's an opportunity to save some money on marketing. Let's see if we could just pay a guy 50 bucks. No way. I want the guy to be I want the guy to make a lot of money because I want the guy to bring me a lot of sales. So that's model number 1, you pay a guy for making the sale. Model number two is a two-person team. So you have a setter and a closer. The concept is that you have setters canvas the neighborhood. They knock on the door. They drum up interest. So their entire purpose is just to garner interest, just to get names. Hey, can we follow back up with you? Can I have somebody come by and chat with you? Can I give you something? You've, you've got something. You're, you have them taking and making, you have them taking an action. They're doing something. They're collecting a name. At a minimum, they're collecting a name and a phone number. Okay, so that's, that's, what a, that's what you'd call a setter. They're setting the appointment. That's their entire purpose. It's a soft sell, just setting the appointment, try, not trying to make an immediate sell. You'll see this model a lot with roofers. Roofers will go around with a setter, and then they'll come back around with a closer. So the setter goes out. It's a very soft sell. Basically, their entire purpose is just to sell the individual on giving them the na their name and their phone number. That's it. That's their only purpose. They're not trying to make the sale. They're not trying to take it, it to the next step. Just their only charge is bring me home a name and a number of somebody that's interested. That's a setter. And they make a commission for that. Then there's a closer that follows up with that person. So the setter gets the name and the phone number. The closer then goes back to the home or calls them on the phone. More than likely, they're going to go back to the home. And then their job is to close the business, to get the deal, to basically win a new client. And then that individual makes some money. And setters could make less than closers, or it could be a 50-50 split. You've got to figure that out. There's different models. Great industries that look at for this are pest control and roofers. They both do a ton of door knocking, especially the roofers. And watch how they work. Read about on the Internet how they work. I've actually never done that, which would actually be a pretty good idea read about it and see what um, how their model works and how they pay and what their commission is. I always talk to these guys when they come to my house so I can learn additional ways to do this, and I'd recommend the same of you. Next time somebody tries to sell you something, engage them and find out how they get paid. Find out how long they've been doing this. Find out the hours that they work. That's how I know that most of these guys work late afternoons into the evening, and then they work weekends. Most of them are students, or they also have another job. So uh, do a little studying, and you'll get all the answers you need on this one. But Look at those two models. Good luck.